Hi, welcome to the Hazard Call How-To video series. My name is Gene Norman with Hazard Call, and in this edition, we're talking about the Community Call feature. Uh, this is a new feature that we rolled out in early 2020 that lets you communicate with those residents who have landlines. The great thing about Hazard Call, of course, is that you can whip out a text message and send it to people, but not all the residents in your community are the same when it comes to their phones. We know that some have cell phones, but others don't and rely on landlines. Well, the community call feature lets you record a message on your phone and then send it as a phone call. And that way, your residents who have landline access can learn about the same things you're telling everyone else, things like a water outage, a power outage, etc. They will receive a more generic message, but it might even be necessary for you to send a specific message to all residents in the event of a widespread emergency. Community Call gives you that flexibility to send a recorded message to either all or part of your community. Now, to add Community Call, there is an extra charge. You want to talk to your sales rep about doing this, but typically it will cost an additional 10% of your annual cost of Hazard Call. Now, once you've uh, asked your sales rep to add it, you need to contact customer service so that they can activate this feature and you can begin using it. And again, the community call feature is intended to be used to send recorded messages to not all, but part of your community that are defined by lists. And if you're not familiar with the list, I encourage you to go and look at the hazard call how to video about creating a list because it'll come in very handy when you're using the community call feature. So here's what we're going to cover in this how-to video. In order to make these recorded messages, you're going to need to log into your account on your phone. Now, typically you log into your account on a computer to add people, remove them, and so forth. We'll do it a little bit differently, but it has the same effect in that you're going to be logging into your account, except you're going to be doing it on your phone. Then you're going to record a message. Then you're going to send a message. And uh, afterwards, I'll go over a real-time example. We'll show you how to do this in real time so you can see exactly how it works. So before we get started, I do want to give you some suggestions and a word of advice. Before you record any message, a best practice suggestion would be for you to write down what you want to say. Time yourself and make your message generic. This way, you won't waste a lot of time trying to record these messages. And after a while, you get pretty good at it. You'll develop a nice library of messages that you can send out at any time. So the first step is to open your Hazard Call account on your phone. You're going to do this by going to the browser on your phone. If you have an Android phone, you're going to use the Chrome browser. If you have an iPhone, you're going to use Safari. So you're going to go to hazardcall.com forward slash login. Log into your Hazard Call account. Then you're going to go to the Add Manage Residence section, and then you're going to select Community Broadcast to Residents. When you do, you'll see a brand new men menu that says Send Voice Broadcast. When you click on that, you'll see another menu that has the option to Manage Recordings. That's what you're going to do. Select Manage Recordings. And then you'll see a, a program that lets you record a message. Click on Record Message. And it has some sub features that then appear because now you're ready to record the message. Click on record message and you'll be shown how much time you have taken to record your message. When you're finished, hit stop recording and then you can listen back to it. Um, when you're satisfied with the way it sounds, you're then going to save it and give it a name. In this case, let's just use the name water outage. That might be a common message that you might record in advance. All right, once we've done that, we then can let, look to see all the messages that we have in our recording library, if you will. Uh, so in this case, we only have one. There it is, water outage. Uh, if we hit modify, we can either delete it or rename it. So if you typed it in incorrectly, you can always go back and change it. Or if you don't need it after a while, you can remove it. Now, once you record one of these messages, a good suggestion is to make a test call to make sure that it sounds good to you. So you click on make test call, you select the recording, and then put in any phone number. I would suggest your phone number because this will only go to the phone number that you indicate on the test call screen. 
Then click on do test call and in just a couple of seconds, your phone will ring and you'll hear the recorded message. Well, now it's time to send a message to your community. Now, in this case, you will use a regular Hazard Call app to do this. So remember, you log into your account to create the messages, but you can actually send them by using the Hazard Call app. So here's your familiar Hazard Call screen. Go to Community Broadcast. From there, you now will see you have the option to send a voice broadcast, whereas before, you only could send a text broadcast. When you select voice broadcast, you then select voice broadcast to community. And you can choose the recording that we made called water outage. You decide which list you want to send it to. In this case, we're sending it to the landline list. And then once we're ready, we hit send voice broadcast message and it will go out. You'll get a confirmation message. And in a couple of uh, seconds, really, the phones will ring and people will get that recorded message. Well, now I want to give you a real-time example so you can see how to use this feature and how it works in real time. And to do this, I'm going to mirror my phone to the screen. And here comes my phone. There it is. All right. So we're going to first, as we said, go to hazardcall.com forward slash login. Click on management login. Log into your community. We're using a fictitious community called the virtual community for this demonstration. And then once you're in your account, you go to add manage residents as if you were going to add someone or change their phone number. In this case, we're going to go to community broadcast to residents. Here are our fictitious residents in the account and two of them have the label landline. That'll come in handy later because we're going to be sending to only those particular people. So community broadcast to residents opens up send voice broadcast as an option. We pick that then manage recordings and now we're going to make a recording so i'm going to hit record message and when i'm ready i start by hitting record message once i hit that it starts recording so be sure that you're ready before you hit that uh, purple button this is an important message from your community manager unfortunately the water will be out we'll let you know when it comes back on we apologize for this inconvenience and we ask for your patience. Thank you. All right, that was about 15, 16 seconds. I've stopped recording. Now I can play it back. I'll hit the triangle to play it back. This is an important message from your community manager. Unfortunately, the water will be out. We'll let you know when it comes back on. We apologize for this inconvenience and we ask for your patience. Thank you. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with that message. So I hit save and name message. And now I'm going to give it the name water outage. Oops, can't spell water outage. <laughs> hit OK. All right. And now when I view the list of messages, I'll see that water outage is one that I can choose from. All right. So now that I've done that, uh, I'm going to go back into the hazard call app. And I'm going to select community broadcast. Send voice broadcast, voice broadcast to community, and then select water outage. Select that this is going to the landline list, the people that are in the landline list. And then I'm going to send voice broadcast message. Remember, just like a text message, I can send it now if it's an emergency, or I can send it later. It'll go out between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. if I do nothing. So I'm going to say, check if emergency message. I want it to go out right now. And now it says voice broadcast has started. And so in just a few seconds, you're going to see that my phone is about to ring. And that will let you know that the call has been placed with the recording. And we will then, of course, answer it. This is an important message from your community manager. Unfortunately, the water will be out. We'll let you know when it comes back on. We apologize for this inconvenience and we ask for your patience. Thank you. Okay, so to review, again, you'll need to log into your Hazard Call account on your phone to create messages. Now, you can do it on your laptop, but typically your laptop uh, microphone is not going to be so great sounding. It'll sound better if you record these messages on your phone. 
So you record a message and then you send the message out. Well, that concludes the Hazard Call how-to video on Community Call. If you have further questions, please email our customer service manager, Elizabeth Painter, at elizabeth at weathercall.net or me, Gene Norman, at gene.norman at hazardcall.com.